Hey guys, this is Omnum18 here with your fourth Blender tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the three most important things that you could ever know in Blender for 3D modeling. These three things are extrude, scale, and rotate. Okay? And now. In the last tutorial, I taught you uh, how to alter objects and uh, how to modify them and move them. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add on to an object and then how to edit it with rotate and scale. So uh, let's go to edit mode here. And now uh, you can deselect everything by pressing the A key. And now. Uh, there are uh, three different select modes. For uh, extruding, I, I uh, personally prefer face select mode. And then uh, this, this square, or the cube, it just hides the uh, shapes behind the shapes in front. So as you can see, it's gone. Well, so now we're going to select any face of the cube with our right click. And now I taught you how to uh, move it on the axes last time. This time I'm going to show you how to extrude it, extrude it, and extrude it on the axes. Okay, to do that, press E. And as you can see, there are lines uh, right around there, and that's wh uh, basically where the add-on starts. Now to us. Uh, uh, extrude to an axis, press uh, X, Y, or Z keys. Uh, each of them correspond with their axis. Like uh, Z extrudes up and X extrudes sideways. Okay, and now uh, you can press right click to cancel extrude. Okay, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to extrude. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to show you what to how to do is how to scale the cube or the cube add-on. To do that, you just press the S key. And as you can see as I drag it outwards with the dotted line, um it it gets larger and if I drag it inwards, it gets smaller. Uh let's uh drag it to about here. And now the next thing I'm going to show you is to rotate as soon as you rotate, it rotates on a fixed axis. You can uh, press any of the axis keys like Z, X, or Y to rotate it on a different axis. Or you can free rotate, this also applies to extruding on axes, by pressing the middle mouse button. Now, uh, one second. As you can see, it's uh, rotating to uh, whatever I do, sort of. So. I'm just going to play around with this a bit and I'm going to create you some sort of mutant. Yes, yes, that's very ugly. Okay. And so that was basically the purpose of this tutorial. You can also find extrude here. And uh, just another quick tip if you want to. As you can, if you can see, there's like buttons under here. To get to them, you have to right click outside of the panels and a panel alignment dialog shows up. Click on free and then scroll down and you can find everything on the bottom. Okay, and as you can see, extrude does this and it's created another extrude for me. Okay. There's a lot of these around here, but I haven't found them out yet. If y if you found them, uh, please comment on this post and tell me where to find them sometime later on. I'm not going to have a mouse that I can use too well. So, that was basically this tutorial. This is Omnum18 uh, saying if you like these tutorials, then subscribe. And I will see you next time.